What's up gamers? How the heck are you? The new Power World update is upon us and it's super exciting. If you guys haven't had a chance to check it out, I do recommend you re-downloading Power World, opening up your worlds again and checking out the brand new stuff they added. They added about 15 or so new pals along with a new island and a new tower boss to take down and trust me, it is insane and super fun. They also added a new summon boss that I know you guys are going to have a blast taking down. Bellinor was fun as it is, and this one is even tougher. Trust me, it is absolutely insane. In this video, I want to go over a few things that you may not have realized they added and some things that may have went under the rug, and I want to point out those things to you so you are aware and that you can start utilizing them as quickly as possible. So first and foremost, I want to go over, we all know the monitoring stand, but something that you might not have noticed is that sometimes Sometimes when you hop into your power world, if it has been a while or something like that, they may have changed this for you by accident. The game may have suggested it to go to hard work or relaxed work. This is just a little bit of a bug, but just make sure you go back and set it to your normal work if you don't usually have it on relaxed work or hard work or even super hard work. Just make sure you go back and set that to normal. We knew that they had this available. Another thing that they have, we know we got the new set work preference thing. We got this a couple updates ago. This is super cool. I really like it. Um, uh, this works all pretty much the same. Just make sure all your settings are good there as well. What hasn't been here is the fixed assignment management. So this, you can look at all your base facilities and you also look at your base pals that you have available. And what you can do is if you have, let's say the electric kitchen, you can select it, go over here and select a pal that you want to assign it. So let's say you have multiple fire pals, so you can make sure that your fire pal leaves the furnace alone, only focusing on the kitchen. You can also go in and turn this off and you can cancel any assignments that you might have had pre-selected. This is absolutely incredible. I love that this is the thing. So if you guys use multiple pals for different things, then you can go in and select them to do the individual item. Love that. You no longer have to go and pick that pal up and throw them at that item and assign it. You can assign it from here it's absolutely incredible. Go ahead and utilize this. Go to your monitoring stand and start getting to work on that. All right, another thing I want to talk about is new medical update that you got. New medicines that we might have gotten that you might not have noticed. So now we have these things called remedies or elixirs. Same as thing, same thing, depending on wherever you get them from. So the remedies are basically exactly what they say they are extremely high or extremely valuable potions that permanently raises whatever it is assigned to so vitality would be health permanently raises your health from what i've seen it raises it by 100 so if you drink this it will raise your current health level by 100 same with stamina same with might this will raise your attack power uh burden will raise will raise up the amount that you can carry your carry capacity and speed will uh raise your amount of speed this only affects uh, the player, not the pals. There are other things that affect the pals. But you can get these by finding lo or lotuses. And lotuses are located in caves in the new area. Like the carrying lotus right here. One of the more newer things that you will find in Power World is a new merchant. If you head over to the Forgotten Isles Church Ruins, located at negative 460, negative 13, you will find the metal merchant. Now, this guy only deals in dog coins. Now, I'll go over just a minute where you find dog coins and how to collect them, but his inventory is quite unique and you're going to want some of these items. The first two items, especially because they're mysterious accessory box and mysterious or box of mystery accessories. These two items increase the amount of accessory items that you can carry. So you used to be able to carry two. Now you'll end up carrying four if you collect both of those boxes. If you scroll down, you'll notice he, he has these fruits. Now these fruits are going to be very useful because they're going to slightly increase whatever pal you feed them to slightly increase their stats. The life fruit will increase the health of the pal. The power fruit will increase the attack power and the stout will increase, increase the defense of your pal. Now he also has these elixirs. These elixirs work the exact same way as the remedies do from the medicine table, but you can just purchase them here for, do for dog coins. Now they are pretty pricey. Dog coins don't drop a ton, but it is nice to have these elixirs available if you don't want to find the materials because it is kind of hard to find a lot of the lotuses that you need to create the remedies. These vital, vital stamina, might, speed, and burden all work the same as the remedies do. You can just purchase them here from the metal merchant. Concentrated all-purpose pal extractor raises your pals rank by one. 
So this would be a nice purchase if you can get up to 2,000 dog coins. So you'll be able to increase any pal's uh, full rank by exactly one, which is really nice. Dog coins can be located in two separate areas. The first will be a pile like this. You'll find a pile of rubble on the ground just casually laying all over beaches and various areas throughout Pow World. But if you hold down on it and you collect the materials there, it tends to have a ton of stuff, but it does have the possibility of having a dog coin in it as well, but not always. It kind of just has a variety of items that you can get from those piles. One of the best ways to collect dog coins though is to find this little guy right here. Now this looks like a normal chest but it's not. It's actually a pal. Now this pal will not give off any information about itself until you interact with it. You'll notice that you can't unlock it, you can't put a key to it, none of that, and it doesn't give you any information like other pals do, like their rank or what they are, for instance. So this won't do anything until you interact with it. Now once you deplete its health completely or capture it, it will give you a lot of dog coins and possibly some other coins alongside some tech manuals. So it really depends on what you get lucky with. So it ends up being uh, a pretty nice way to collect dog coin. It is the best way to collect them. Now, Mimogs are found all over Power World, but they I have mainly found a ton of them in the desert areas or beachy areas. So look towards that to find the, the chests themselves. Now, I will let you know that the devs made sure you weren't able to capture this creature, breed it, and butcher it for dog coins. You have to find them in the wild in order to get the dog coins. If you butcher them, they will not drop any coins. Now, Mimogs can be used for a few other things as well. If you have them in your party, like a part of your uh, part of your team, what you can do is you can go up to chest uh, that you may not have a key for, and they have an unlocking ability. Depending on their skill level, they'll be able to unlock chests for you that you don't have to worry about having a lockpick or the unlocking ability or the key to unlock it. This is something you'll probably notice pretty quickly on, but I want to point out a few things in here that you should look to first. So 50 is no longer the level cap. You can now go to 55, and it comes with a ton of new stuff that you can gather and stuff that uh, is, brand, is brand new all, with a along with the new ultimate sphere, so slightly better than a legendary sphere. But one thing I wanna point out is if you go over to your ancient technologies, you're gonna find something new called a lock pick. So this lock pick can be obtained. You make sure you have to go, you have to go all the way back to your ancient through, through your ancient technologies to make sure you go and get the lock pick number one and then move all the way down to lock pick number two. Lock picks can be used in place of the current, uh, if you're missing a current key so lockpicks can be used in place of a key to open up chests so if you don't have that certain key you can use a lockpick to unlock it and you won't need to use a key all right so the way a lock picking seems to work is that when you have the level three lock pick it seems like you no longer need to uh, have a key for anything lower than a red chest so the purple and gold chest you should be able to just fly or to go up to and immediately open as you can see i have no keys in my inventory all I'm able to just fly up and open a chest with no problems. But when I approach a chest that has, that is red, I have to perform a lock picking implication. I cannot say I have no silver key, so I can't open it. But once I perform the lock picking technique, I am able to unlock it successfully. So it does seem that if you have the level three lock picking tool, then you will be able to open any chest lower than red if it's a red chest, you will have to actually do the lock picking game to open it. But that being said, you have unlimited attempts to get to try it out. So you can stay there for as long as you like. You just may be attacked while you're fighting or while you're trying to open a chest. Pretty cool little added to the game. I don't know that they'll change it. I don't know if it's a glitch that you should be able to uh, open up every chest, uh, every other chest without using a, the lock picking method i don't know that you should be able to walk up to a chest and just be able to open it even though you have the level t level three lock picking tool uh so that may be something they fix in the future it may not be something they intended the entire time they may want you to lock pick every single one that you don't have a key for which would make more sense to me so that being said uh guys try it out for now use it for now abuse it for now and uh, uh in case they fix it in the future 
All right, guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoy the new update or the new Power World stuff, please leave in the comment below. Tell me what's your new favorite pal. Tell me if you've beaten any of that stuff yet. You're super, if you're enjoying it, tell me if you're even excited about getting back into Power World. Or are you waiting for a couple of updates just so that it gets a little bit bigger before you hop into the world? I completely understand either way. Hey, if you guys like this video at all, please consider hitting that like button. It really does help with the algorithm. If you guys end up liking me at all, consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help. Hey, as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. And peace out.